everybody, how's it going? Welcome to this edition of my channel. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up because I am giving you a thumbs up for watching it. Hit that bell button, share this video with a friend, and subscribe to my channel. Jesus loves you. Bye! Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of my channel. As we are sitting here in my lovely living room with Bob Marley in the background. Yes, I know I got my Bob Marley flag up. Anyways, um, just got back home from Sunday Mass. Um, it was an evening Mass and so, yeah, just hanging out, just pondering, reflecting. So, um, before I let you get to the rest of this video where I basically take you on an adventure of taking the bus to get to my church um, and preparing for a confession, reconciliation, I want to ask you all a question and something that you can ponder on while watching this video. So my question for all of you guys that I want you to ponder on is, how do you give control to God? How do you give complete control to God? What does it really look like to live not in your will, but in God's will. How do you give him control? How do you give him control and trust in him? So I hope you enjoy this video. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and hit that bell button so you can be notified of my upcoming videos. All right, see you over there, bye. So when dealing with ADHD, um, there's things I definitely like to make sure I have in my purse anytime I go anywhere. So I have my charger, I can see there. Um, I have my wallet, which has my pass, pass and everything in it. So that's good. Um, and so, yeah, but I am noticing I'm forgetting my headphones. So I will grab those and yeah, I should be ready to go to mass. Oh, and I guess I need shoes too. Just keep waiting, just keep waiting, 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 just keep waiting, just keep waiting. Do you know that song from Finding Nemo? Just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. So instead of that, I'm doing, just keep waiting, waiting, waiting. Anyways, I'll show you the coolies. That'll let him standing up. Here are the coolies. I like the coolies. I really like this tree up ahead here. I've taken a few pictures of it. Um, there might be some on my Instagram, I'm not sure. And I love that tree. Sometimes I like to go sit by it and relax and, and just pray or or whatever in the in the summertime. Like I like to go sit by there. I definitely like to take pictures. Um, last year I got out my bubbles and I was blowing bubbles with Jesus. I know that sounds really corny, but I love to blow bubbles. And so I had my prayer time and then I blew bubbles. So I always tease it. I'm like, I'm blowing bubbles with Jesus. <laughs> so I do that sometimes in the summer too. So, can't wait for summer to come. Can't wait to be able to go to the lake. And I can't wait to be able to um, just visit people in the summer, maybe go camping. I don't know yet. We'll just have to see what summer brings. And hopefully the bus comes soon. Hopefully the bus comes soon. There is a lot of work put into vlogging. 
I've never done a video like this before. So, come on, bus. Anyways, lots of waiting. When waiting for the bus, just like life, we're always waiting. Sometimes I feel like life is like that. We're constantly waiting. We're waiting on something. Just like I'm sitting here waiting for the bus, we are always waiting for something. And then the question I pose is, are we satisfied within the present moment of our day? Are we satisfied within the present moment of life? Um, can we see the blessings within the present moment? While we wait, maybe we're waiting for our vocation. Maybe we're waiting for that, that dream job, whatever it is. It eventually comes. I can tell you it eventually does come. Um, at least I'm telling myself that. You know, I've been discerning consecrated virginity now for about uh, three years and uh, there's been some waiting some waiting process uh, with anything uh, so basically it's a it's a very uh, unique time of discernment and discerning consecrated virginity in itself is a unique vocation to discern um, especially if you're the only one in your diocese maybe discerning consecrated virginity um, you're the first maybe in your diocese uh, it definitely can make things a lot more interesting because uh, if there's not a formation program in place then they have to like basically made a make a formation program out of scratch so that's a very big ordeal um, it seems so basically I'm just given control to God and I sit here and I wait just like I wait for the bus sometimes I get impatient sometimes I get restless and other times I just sit and I read a book uh, or in the case of waiting for um, the next step of my vocation uh, lots of letter writing lots of emailing uh, talking to the vocation director lots of back and forth communication and like all these things that you got to wait for all these little steps within a vocation and I know it's like that with other vocations too that there's all these steps you got to take you got to wait to take the next step and then you take the next step and then you take the next step and so anyways vocational discernment is no uh, fast thing at least for most people I know some people they enter their vocation pretty fast but there's still always a process that needs to be taken into account and so um, yeah it's a process and so just like waiting for a bus waiting for the doctor waited for whatever we also need to wait on God <laughs> and it's like he's doing things in the background that we don't even realize so um, best way I could put that is you know that the bus is coming he has to drive to get here so anyways here is our bus this is great so I'll just get my bus pass out and we will enter the bus Okay, so I am now at my church, and I'm gonna go to reconciliation here. Uh, it's my favorite priest, so that's always good. Um, always does good confessions. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm at my church, here it is. <laughs> I better check the time and I better go in there. 
and wait for confession. Oh, what if I'm going to be the first? Oh my goodness, that would be cool. There's usually like a big wait line and I like to come early to be able to to go to confession. So anyways, here I am. So I'll see you guys all later. I'm just going to head into the church now. So take care.